stretch. What is up, everybody? This is Daniel Barrett here from AdwordsNurse.com. Going live with a quick video. Wanted to talk. I'm standing up. I'm stretching. I'm getting the blood flowing, right? Very nice. Uh, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, – I wanted to talk to you a little bit about price and cost in the online marketing world, and specifically for online marketing for investors – because I've gotten this question a lot and I don't want to throw people under the bus, right? So this is not a specific kind of like take that video. I'm not going to like name names or whatever, but I do want to talk about a really critical difference to understand. All right. So like if you are an investor and you are talking to online marketing companies, a lot of these people are going to like reach out to you. I mean, this is very common, right? Everybody gets these kind of videos or uh, not videos, but like everyone gets the emails where they're like, Hey, I'm going to rank you in Google, yada, 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 or they're going to do your pay-per-click or whatever it is. And um, so there's a lot of companies out there and that's awesome. Cause I honestly think that like competition is really good for uh, most industries. Right. But people will generally then come to me and say like, Hey, Dan, you know, I noticed like I was going to work with you, but you guys are pretty expensive or you can be pretty expensive depending on what I do. And, you know, this other guy said he's going to do it for 500 bucks or a thousand bucks. So why should I go with you? And I'm just going to kind of step back, take a step back. It's like, look, there are a lot of reasons I think you should work with my company specifically. But look, you can you can I'll save the pitch fest for later. You can go on the website, whatever. Let's talk about pricing specifically in online marketing because it's a really critical thing to understand if you get into this. I recently went through this because I hired an ads manager for my own ads, right? So um, something I recently went through myself. The thing you have to remember when you hire someone to run your marketing, the lifeline of your business, the thing without which you cannot survive, right? Hire someone to run your marketing. That person, to do it well, will need to do a significant amount of work. And when I say work, I mean not just like the fiddling with the switches and turning the, you know, hitting the buttons and stuff. I also mean like deep creative work in the sense of creating marketing messages that are going to connect with your audience. All right. Now, that is valuable work for pretty much any business. It is critical work and it's a lot of it. So you would expect it to be priced accordingly. Now companies that charge a lot less than you would expect given that context, how are they doing that? They are primarily doing that in two ways. One, they manage you primarily with software. So this allows them to, to manage at scale. I plug you into some like $100 software program that allows me to just hit a button and make a bunch of changes. And you get the sort of perception of a lot of work being done, but it's basically a robot. It's a computer program. And that allows me to have, you know, like a hundred clients all by myself. So that's way one, I primarily manage you via software. The second way is that I primarily manage you via outsourcing. So what does that mean? It could mean that I hire someone for significantly less than what I would pay a US worker, or it could mean I literally just send you to an entirely different company. There are like white label PPC companies, white label SEO companies. I could just send you off to them, they'll do all the work and they basically pretend that they work for me and I'm just kind of sending you off to them. That is primarily how it's done. Okay, I'm not saying it's always how it's done, that is primarily how it's done. So when people ask me like, well, Dan, you know, why are you more expensive than your competition? I will tell you why. It is because we have a team of nine, everybody is in house, everybody is extremely well-trained, everyone only works with real estate investors, everyone does this all day, every day, and I pay them a lot. And why do I pay them a lot? I pay them a lot because the work they do is that much better and that much more valuable. So I'm not saying you can never go with a lower cost company. Maybe that's right for you. That might be right for you. Like literally, it's nothing wrong with that. But know what you are buying and know what you are getting, okay? Because you are not getting the same level of work for a hundred bucks or 200 bucks than you're gonna get from someone 
who is trained up that knows real estate investing and knows online marketing. Because there are not that many of those people. I hope that makes sense. And this is something that is, we've seen over and over and over again with people that <laughs> people that say we're too expensive, go work with someone else, and then come back to us and say, you know, I tried a bunch of other people, but you guys are were the best. And I'm not making that up. It literally just happened to me. And I'm like, look, there's nothing wrong with testing all your opportunities, but know what you're getting and understand that when you go for the budget option, you get what you pay for. All right. Hope that made sense, guys. Uh, as always, Daniel Bear here signing off. I will talk to you soon. I have to sign off on this little computer thing. Look at this. Can you see? It should It has me in there. You can see what I see. Maybe. There you go. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Cheers.